everyone, my name is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is... Let's read the Bible story. God's Wonderful Gift The Harlot's Bird Comes Let's read. Jewish from all over the world were in Jerusalem for the feast of Pentecost. Jesus' followers were there too. They gathered together, waiting for the gift Jesus has promised them. Promised for them. So, Jewish from all the world came to Jerusalem and they were waiting <coughs> sorry waiting for the gift that Jesus has promised <laughs> they're praying now <laughs> they're praying and waiting for the gift In the middle of the feast, God's gift arrived. It began with a sound, a sound like a howling wind that filled the house. House where they were waiting. So, in the middle of the feast, God's gift arrived. It began with a sound. And there were also wind, wind that filled the house. You can see the wind. God gets the ride. Jesus' followers were waiting in Jerusalem for the gift he had promised for to send them. True. Oh, today, sorry, they've got the star. Jesus' followers and all Jewish was waiting in Jerusalem for the gift, what Jesus has promised for them, right? Next, something that looked like a fire settled on God's Holy Spirit, filled the room in the room, and He gave them power to speak different language. So, after the wind came, next, something that looked like a fire settled down on me each of them. That was the God Holy Spirit. The God Holy Spirit fell the room and they now after that they spoke speak different language. Um, goodness. In each of them, there is the Holy Spirit. The sound is so good. Jewish from other parts of the world heard them and were amazed. These people are speaking our language, they said, and proclaimed 
of the wonderful things God has done. So, parts of the world hear them, and they were amazed because they just disciple Jewish were speaking in their language. That and so they can preach in that language, another language for them. So it was God's wonderful gift. As God's gift, Peter explained, it was a promise long ago. It comes to us through Jesus, the Messiah. You sacrificed him, but God brought him. God brought him back to life. So Peter explained it. What happened? So Peter said it was a God's promise long ago. Like you sacrifice the Messiah, Jesus. But God brought him to life. So Peter explained the what Jesus has done for us. And who is Jesus, the Messiah, and that they have sacrificed Jesus, all of those things. Which <laughs> then were Jewish from the other parts of the world was amazed to find the disciples speaking in their language. Yes, they were amazed by them because they were speaking in their language. What should we do? The people asked sadly, turn away from evil, said Peter, believe in Jesus Christ. He will forgive you sins and give the Holy Spirit. So, the people were asking suddenly, that, what should we do? Because they have just sacrificed Jesus, they had killed Jesus, and they didn't, even they didn't believe Jesus. So they were surprised and said, suddenly, what should, what we can do for that? So G, the Peter said, turn away from evil and believe Jesus Christ that has died for us. <laughs> we have found the Bible jam. Goodness again. On that day, 3,000 people were baptized. They were just the first of many people who would come to trust in Jesus as their Savior. So, they were amazed at that so many people, 3,000 people baptized that day. They were just the first time that there's many people that died.
question: How did the people show their face after they repented to believe in Jesus? Number three, baptizing. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? Then next time I'll read another good story. Then let's next time. Bye.